Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. Now in this video, we will take up all the plant tissues individually. So the first we will discuss is the meristematic tissue and the types of meristematic tissue. So the learning objectives will be to explain the general features of a meristematic tissue. What are the different characteristics that a meristematic tissue has? and then to give an overview of the meristematic tissue like what are the different types of meristematic tissue which are present inside the plant so first meristematic tissue now the word meristematic tissue comes from meristem now this means continuous division so continuously dividing tissue is meristematic tissue what do you mean by meristem meristem means that region of the plant which consists of continuously dividing cells and these cells can actively divide throughout the life of the plant. So that region of the plant is known as meristem. Now where does the word meristem come from? The word meristem come from meristos which is a Greek word and it means continuous divisions. This term meristem was given by Nageli in 1858. Now meristematic tissue. All the tissues are made up of cells. We have been constantly discussing this. And these cells, uh, the features of these cells make up the feature of the complete tissue. So how do the cells in a meristematic tissue look like and how do they behave? So let us see. The cells are small. They are living and the wall is very thin. So the cellulose deposition is less. So they are living, small and thin walled cells. Also, these cells have a bigger nucleus, right? They have a large nuclei and the vacuoles are very less. Now, why are the vacuoles less? The reason for vacuoles being less is because the function of vacuoles is to store substance. Now, these needs are not present in the meristematic tissue. There is no need to store substances. They just need to continuously divide and form a mass of cell. Now, they are compactly arranged. You can clearly see in the figure, all the cells are compactly arranged. There is no intercellular space in between them. Division is the sole function. That is the reason they have a bigger nucleus. Now, these cells are immature throughout the life. Immature means they always remain young. They remain young forever. So good, right? We get old. But the plant meristematic cells never get old. And they are undifferentiated. What do you mean by undifferentiated? Undifferentiated means that they do not specialize. They simply form a mass of cell and later this mass, some of the part of the mass specializes into different organ and they again start dividing. All right. They are capable of actively division throughout the life of the plant. But in where are these tissues found? So where is the meristematic area of the plant? How does a plant grow? The plant grows vertically, the plant grows horizontally and also the plant grows beneath the soil. So all these growths, right? The top growth, the girth growth and the bottom growth, all these growths happen because of the meristem. So they are present at the tip of root, stem, present in the leaf primordia. Also it is present in the epidermis of dicotyledonous plants and also in the branches. So these are the areas where meristematic tissue is found inside a plant. Next, what are the types of meristematic tissue? So there has to be a basis to divide. So on the basis of origin, from where did this tissue come? On the basis of origin, there are of two types. The primary meristem and the secondary meristem. So the primary meristem means that they appear early in life, right? When the plant is just growing, this meristem is present in them. And it is derived from embryo. Embryo as in all of us know, in case of human beings, the baby growth, we know that the cells, the individual, first an individual is just a cell. Those cells keep, keep on dividing, get into different stages and ultimately form organs. So that mass of cell is the primary meristem derived from embryonic meristem. Then secondary meristem, it is the new meristem which appears from the permanent cells. Permanent cells means those meristematic cells which have undergone differentiation formed a permanent cell. There, there if some uh, cells start growing indefinitely, then that type of meristem is secondary meristem. Right? It is formed later in this life. You can clearly see tip is primary meristem, the top, the top region primary meristem. In the root tip also it's primary meristem, but in the center. So the diametric growth is sec due to secondary meristem. 
Now, on the basis of their position in the plant body, they are further in three types. Apical meristem, present at the apex of the root, apex of the shoot. This is apical meristem. So, they are present at the top, responsible for increase in the length. Then, intercalary meristem, present in the internodes region. So, this is, this is node, this is internode. So, this region, the meristem present is intercalary meristem. Then, lateral meristem. It is present along the sides, helps in improve, helps in increasing the girth or diameter of the plant. Thus, to summarize, we can say meristematic tissue is tissue which is responsible for active cell division. The region of the plant where active cell division happens is known as what? Meristem. Now, based on the location and origin, there is division of meristematic tissue. Based on origin, it is of two types. The primary meristem and secondary meristem all the meristematic cells have special qualities that the cells are small in size they are living and thin walled and also they are compactly arranged bigger nucleus no intercellular space now primary meristem and secondary meristem primary means early in life secondary means later in life on the basis of position they are further divided into three types apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem we shall be discussing all these meristems in detail in upcoming videos till then thank you very much tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning